I picked up the Black Crow Serpo. It's an all-mountain freeride ski, 93 mil underfoot. I've never skied it before, uh, so I was looking forward to trying it out. It's 800 and, about 800 pounds without bindings. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty full on actually. It's a full on all mountain ski. It's got a Tetanol plate that runs through like the majority of the ski. You can see the forks on the, on the front here. And that stiffens the ski a lot. I mean, it feels like it's a, you know, really like a hard charging kind of all mountain free ride ski. You have to be really on it all the time to make it turn and to do what you want it to do. That's what I really like about it. The rocker at the front actually makes turn initiation really, really easy. So it's not a difficult ski to turn, to initiate the turn, but I think to get the most out of the, uh, the Serpo, you need to be an expert and quite aggressive free ride skier, like an, an all mountain skier. Hitting the bumps, you know, it, it was bouncing around a bit because it's, it's quite stiff. So I was being thrown around in the moguls a little bit. It's not a bump ski at the end of the day. I think in powder, yeah, it will work because of the rocker. And if you really like charging it, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be great. Steep slopes, I think it's going to love the steeps, this thing, because um, it's just so solid. It feels such a solid ski. Uh, so I really like the Serpo, but you need to be, you know, you need to be fully up for it uh, to get the most out of this. Aggressive all mountain free ride ski, around 800 pounds without bindings. I think it's uh, a, Black, a Black Crows classic. Yeah, I picked up a Scott Pure Free here. It's 590 pounds without bindings. It's, um, yeah, you know, Scott, all mountain and free ride skiing specialist, Scott Sports. This one, 90 mil underfoot, is designed for advanced skiers, not like, maybe not the super high end of the technical scale, but actually, it's an interesting ski. They've got a metal plate underneath the binding, and what that does is it makes it quite stiff under the foot, and really, really grippy on, on, on the piece. I've been skiing some quite hard packed snow this morning on these, and they grip really nicely. But there's no, there's no plate at the front or the back of the ski, and there's a rocker at the front, a little bit of a tail rocker as well, and that makes the ski soft at the front, really easy to turn. So like, if you're a kind of skier that likes to carve a bit, but also go off the piece a little bit into sort of bumpy terrain, yeah, I mean, these, these work really well, because they just grip, but they're also so easy to, to turn. Where I think they just didn't quite hit the mark for me is I took them onto steeper terrain, that was very sort of deeper cut up snow. And they just felt a little bit laborious in that stuff. So if you, if you want to ski sort of steeper terrain and powder even, I think in powder, it's not really the ski. 90 underfoot though, super versatile. And if you're looking for a ski to kind of just play around the mountain with, that's really grippy, but also fun, responsive, just, just good fun to ski, then I'd, I'd go for the Pure Free. Uh, 590, you know, sort of mid-price range. Uh, but it look, I love the look of it, it's just smart. And Scott always make those nice looking, looking skis. So yeah, check it out, scottsports.com. It's the 2023-24 winter season, Pure Free. I've got a ski here that Rob actually tested yesterday, but he told me it was really good, so I actually had to try it out for myself. It's the K2 Mindbender. 96C, so the carbon version of the Mindbender TI. So there's two versions, this is the carbon version. Such a good ski. So light, exactly what Rob was saying yesterday, light and nimble, really when you're in the terrain that's a bit more complicated, it's really easy to move the ski, pivot it around. Just a really, really enjoyable ski off piece. And when, for example, you're going off like a little bit of side hip, really like easy to, to control off a little jump. Just just a perfect ski for that. Messing around a bit on the side of the slopes. But also what really impressed me was the capabilities of it on slope. I was just skiing down the bottom part of La Clusa here and the GS turns that I was doing felt relatively close to, I'd say almost a master ski. So even though it's light, it's really, really easy put that ski on edge and let it come across the hill. Just a really, really nice ski. So it comes in at 525 pounds without the bindings. So it's sort of the mid price for a ski like this, but I must say it's just so good. So I'd recommend it. K2 Mindbender 96C, here it is. Uh, we've been testing the Faction Dancers this morning here in the Clusa. 
Um, yeah, I've got the Faction Dancer 1. Max, what, what are you on? Yeah, I've got the um, Dancer 2, so slightly wider ski, but yeah, for me, this one has been really, really good. So on and off piece, we did a bit of just skiing off the side of the slope and really responsive ski given its width and it's a bit wider, so I was, I was a bit skeptical as to how it was actually going to come together. But, and also relatively light, I don't know what you thought, but for a titanium plate ski, really, really light for what it is. So it's the first thing I said when I picked these up, when I took them out, I said, oh, they they feel really light, considering they've got the plate in as well. This is the 86 underfoot, so it's kind of baby to that one, <laughs> if you like. Um, on, on the piste, it's like really cruisy, yeah. really, really easy to turn, and grippy as well. Yeah. For eight, an 86 underfoot, I mean, it felt so responsive and lively. I, was, I, would, I would have said pretty much the same for this. Just, yeah. So yeah, like real good off piece, but then switching onto the beast, really like finding control and like just really mellow and really feeling, even with the cut that it's got, yeah. really nice GS turns and really feeling as I, was, as I was going down, so. So that's a 182 uh, centimetre ski, yeah. just uh, under that. Yeah. I mean, that's, they've both got rockers on the front, mm. little tip, a uh, little tail rocker as well. I mean, I'd say for this this ski here, like if you're skiing probably like 70% on piste and you want to just go off the sides and you want to play around in the snow yeah. off the sides of the piece, in the bumps, um, in, in when, it's, when there's powder around, you know, it's going to handle that okay. Yeah. At 86 underfoot. Yeah, it's a really nice versatile ski for somebody that's possibly almost like an upper intermediate level skier, yeah. advanced skier, getting into that kind of expert level skier as yeah. well yeah, for, the, for, the, for the dancer one. Yeah, my thoughts exactly, and it's pretty much the same. I'd say more 50 50 off piece on piece for this yeah. one. But yeah, as you said, this is a ski that you can go from intermediate to almost expert. When you're getting into the more expert level, I'd go for a higher. Like a taller ski, okay. Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah right. I, I feel like I feel like it's a, just a really good ski. This one comes in at five ninety nine. Uh, yeah, without bindings. without bindings. Yeah, and this one's about five fifty, I think. Say without bindings, so a little bit a lower price for the one. Yeah. And but I you know speaking to the faction guys, these two skis are very very popular in the range yeah. uh, for for obvious reasons. Yeah. And we've got some lovely snow to try out these Blizzard Brahma eighty twos. So this is an intermediate slash advanced ski for all mountain, all types of terrain. One thing that I found really interesting is I tried to carve on the piece with them. They carve hugely well. Why is that? It's because they've got a flat end, which really helps to carve on the skis. But then I decided to go off piece and I was like, hmm, these are also really nice off piece. And that's because they've got a very good flex to them. So on piece they're really nice, don't feel too soft, nice and solid and as soon as you go off piece they're really enjoyable as well. They come in at a price of £590 sorry, um, which is a fair price. All different sizes, I tried out the 180cm and they were 82mm underfoot. Um, yeah honestly I think this is a really good ski if you want to try everything, not just staying on piece, not just going off piece. Um, so it's a really good alternative if you want to do a bit of everything. I'm here with the Armada Declivity 92 Ti. So this is an all-mountain ski. So for me personally, I really enjoy a stiffer ski to rip around. And this sort of comes into that, into that group. So titanium plate inside, a uh, little bit soft on the tips and the tail. So a little bit fun, you can have a bit of fun of it on the slopes and even obviously off. Um, today I was mainly on the slope with it and it really enjoys those mid turns at a sort of a moderate speed and you can even like push it a little bit and it will really respond underfoot. So and even when, when we get into those shorter turns there is still some response there so really a really good all round ski really on the slope really enjoyed it. It comes in at £630 with the bindings, so pretty good price range for what it is. And um, yeah, it's more for your, let's say, advanced all-mountain skier, so you still have to be quite aggressive 
on the edge if you really want it to respond to, to what you need. So yeah, really good ski. Armada Declevertine 92 Ti.